Seven-year-old Chloe Lewis has spent her entire life concealed in an abandoned suburban house alongside her father, Henry, who forbids her from venturing outside due to the threat of bad men who killed her mother. Despite this isolation and reliance on canned goods, Chloe matures into a capable and self-sufficient child. Henry instills in her a daily escape routine, anticipating unforeseen circumstances during his food runs. Henry strikes a deal with their neighbors, the Reeds, ensuring financial support for them to care for Chloe if anything happens to him. Chloe diligently memorizes the Reeds' names and details, striving to maintain a semblance of normalcy. One night, she hears a mysterious sound from the closet, discovering a woman bound in chains. Drawings surrounding Chloe depict her encounters with this haunting figure, though Henry dismisses it as her imagination. The next morning, Chloe glimpses the Reed's daughter, Harper, buying ice cream from a truck. She subtly commands Harper to bring her ice cream, leading to an admonishment from Henry, who accuses Chloe of going outside and punishes her by locking her in the closet. Despite Henry's promise to buy Chloe ice cream as an apology, plans change abruptly. Henry returns with groceries and a wound on his stomach, revealing their prolonged stay in hiding. It turns out Henry has created a time bubble around their house, slowing down time outside while maintaining normalcy within. Although Chloe is chronologically seven, only three months have passed outside the bubble. Seizing an opportunity to escape, Chloe takes a $100 bill and ventures outside for the first time. She encounters Alan, the ice cream truck owner, known as Mr. Snowcone. Together, they travel to the park, where Chloe experiences the outside world and notices a billboard about abnormals. Chloe discloses her father's peculiar condition, leading Alan to share stories about her mother's unique gifts. Their outing is interrupted by a police officer who grows suspicious of Alan. In a surprising turn, Chloe screams at the officer to leave, and he complies as if entranced. On their way home, Alan shows Chloe a picture of her mother and provides her with crushed sleeping pills, instructing her to use them on her father the next time she hears his truck. Upon Henry's awakening, Chloe accuses him of concealing her special nature and demands him to leave her room. Later in the night, Chloe is roused by sounds emanating from her closet. Opening it, she encounters the apparition of the chained woman once again, realizing that this spectral figure is none other than her mother, the one in the photograph. The woman, assuming Chloe is a cruel hallucination, reacts with hostility, prompting Chloe to flee. Discovering her father asleep in front of the television, Chloe seeks to unravel the mysteries surrounding the abnormals, or as humans refer to them, freaks. Freaks, resembling humans, possess special powers causing their eyes to bleed when utilized and are hunted by the government for weaponization. Encountering the woman for the third time that night, Chloe successfully convinces her mother of her reality. Communicating through their minds, Chloe explains that she is in her closet. Perplexed, her mother realizes Chloe is projecting herself as an apparition in her cell. The following morning, Chloe confides in Henry about her mother, but he remains skeptical. Faced with no apparent escape, Chloe attempts to drug her father. Henry apprehends her, and in a pursuit to the door, Chloe commands him to sleep, causing him to collapse with bleeding eyes. Meeting with Alan in his truck, Chloe learns about his plan. There is no longer a need for individuals like them to hide. They travel to a diner, rendezvousing with government agent Agent Ray. Alan assumes the role of a priest who raised Chloe under the alias Eleanor Reed and requests Agent Ray to escort them to Maddock Mountain, where the freaks have been relocated. Chloe deviates from the plan, fleeing to the diner's kitchen. In a bid to save them, Alan blinds one of the dishwashers and propels him outside. The agents mistake him for an abnormal and open fire. On their way home, Henry materializes in the road. Chloe disembarks and narrowly avoids a collision with a car as Henry activates his force field, just in time to save her. Choosing it's the right moment, Henry brings Chloe to the reeds to fulfill their agreement. Stephen agrees and introduces them to Nancy and Harper. Nancy, realizing Chloe is a freak, withdraws from the deal, claiming she wasn't aware they were taking in an abnormal. Henry and Chloe return to the house where Alan is awaiting them bound to a chair. Witnessing Chloe's bleeding eyes, Henry is astonished, realizing she is an abnormal like him. Lacking trust, Henry confines her to the closet, 
She reconnects with her mother, but thugs forcefully take her away. Henry seals Chloe in the closet, and in her distress she almost harms him, inducing a trance with a drill into his neck. Alan and Henry dispute downstairs, and Chloe, peeking through the window, witnesses Nancy reporting them to the ADF. She projects a real-time apparition into the room, stunning the men with the extent of Chloe's powers. Chloe compels the officer to stab Nancy in the eye, and then use his gun to shoot himself, causing other officers to shoot Nancy, assuming she is an abnormal. Horrified, Henry searches for Alan, who has taken Chloe and turned invisible. Chloe eludes his grasp and finds an apparition of her mother, Mary, strapped to a metal bed. Henry and Alan appear, discovering Mary alive. Chloe takes control of the doctor's body, causing him to kill himself, and then manipulates the officer to free her mother. Agent Ray arrives, and as Chloe tries to aid Mary's escape, an officer catches on, and Chloe attacks him, triggering an alarm. Mary attempts to flee, but agents close in. Back at the house, Agent Ray discovers Chloe and fires at her, unintentionally killing Alan. Distraught, Chloe forces Agent Ray's gun to her own head and commits suicide. Henry pretends to hold Agent Ray hostage, creating a force field around the house, killing three officers. Chloe passes out from exhaustion. Mary, trapped, calls out to Chloe, awakening her. Chloe uses her powers to control every officer at Maddock Mountain, securing her mother's release. Mary, now free, takes flight, eliminating every agent in her vicinity. A missile targets the house, and Henry attempts to slow it down with his powers. He carries Chloe outside as the house is obliterated behind them. Upon awakening, Chloe bids her father farewell, grieving over his lifeless body amid the gunshots. The shooting ceases, and she is rescued by her mother. Chloe and Mary reunite, and Mary vows to hide and protect her daughter forever. Inspired by her daughter's confidence, Mary embraces Chloe and they take flight. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and give us a thumbs up to help out the channel. Thank you for watching.